And we're back with some more baby mini base. Today, today we're going to start tackling the magma. This stuff has to go. Also, I want access to all the resources down here. There's wolframite, there's diamond, there's also steel. Uh, refined carbon I don't care about so much, but there's a lot of tasty resources I'd like to extract from here. So we're going to have to put in some sort of atmosuit docks, a liquid lock, and then we're going to have to come in here very, very carefully, usually via vacuum, and then we're going to tap it for power. We're going to use it for power, and hopefully we're going to extract all the materials out of here and get them nice and cool before we do it. So I'm going to have to move this liquid tank. It served its purpose. I'm going to sort of hide it up here and dump it into some liquid reservoirs. Uh, you know what? We'll just skip this forward so you can see exactly what I'm planning. And here we have our little pump setup. It's very simplistic. We just have a, an automation wire going from a hydro sensor down to this liquid vent. All the water, the clean water, we're just going to store it in these tanks. And if we need any in these areas, we'll just, yeah, we'll just siphon it out of there. Done. Actually... It might be a better idea to run their pipes from the end. That would probably be a hell of a lot smarter. It just means that uh, the end tanks will drain first and we can delete those tanks as the water empties. Yeah, we'll get rid of all of that. Yeah, that'll simplify things quite a bit. Yeah, once all of that is out of the way, we can start work on our atmosuit docks. After I queue up a little bit of gold. I, I almost forgot, almost forgot I need some more gold for these. This took a little while, but we're almost done. At the same time, they're almost full so yeah, it worked out okay at the same time we've thrown in an exosuit forge over here we're just going to throw ourselves together five atmos suits actually let's make it eight atmos suits yeah eight atmos suits should be a lot better once we have eight of those we can actually six seven no, one more one more i missed a click there so eight atmos suits just as we go along we're going to be adding on more duplicates now it's time to decide where we're going to put our atmos suit docks down here to get into the magma biome plus a liquid lock so that we can vacuum it out, and then where are we going to put our steam turbine? I think it's all going to be on this right-hand side, so I'm going to have to do some careful calculations here to make sure that we don't end up running out of space for what we're planning on putting in here. We're going to squeeze our atmosuit duck in over here. It's going to be nice, up, up nice and tight. Well, as far left as we can make it. Uh, at the same time, I've squished this back a bit uh, just to keep our slicksters from gooping oil all over everything. We're slowly collecting a small bit of oil as we go along. How much liquids do we have? 61 kilos of crude oil. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. But once we get that oil reservoir, this will all speed up quite nicely. Oh, prezzies. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I gotta go with the copper ore. Food-wise, we're fine. It's not great food. In fact, we've stocked pile quite a bit of it. We have a lot of pickled meal on hand. Yeah, we'll worry about newer foods later. Uh, let's uh, let's figure out a way to get oxygen into this. That's mm, yeah. I think what we're going to end up doing is dumping just oxygen from the atmosphere in there with a little bit of a stupid filter. Oh, over here, there was another suggestion for making this filter, and I thought I'd cover it because it was recommended a lot. There was a lot of advice to use this type of filter, so let's give it a quick shot. All right, this is a simplified version of the gas filter. Uh, what we've got here is just a gas pipe element center set to hydrogen. It's automation wire feeds into a knot gate which feeds into a high pressure gas vent all that happens here is the gases come across if the gases are not hydrogen then the high pressure gas vent is left open at which point it just gets dumped out into the surrounding area if it is hydrogen then the gas vent closes so the hydrogen can't pass through and has to just keep going straight on now you have to keep them right beside each other to make it work but it's just a very simple energy-free way of also filtering your gases if you want. So we can just cut out the other one and boom. This one can be more used for... Hmm, well, if you're sending gases further. It, and you don't have to... You don't have to actually have to this right beside the gas vent exit. So these ones still have a use. It's just this one seems much faster and simpler to set up. Yeah, yeah. With all of that done, let's try a little bit of gas filtration down here. We're going to suck up gas from the surrounding atmosphere. We don't have, uh, since we're using open plan electrolyzers, we can't just, you know, have a pipe of gas lying around the place. So we're going to have to use a gas pump to fill all of these. And if you'll notice, there's a lot of random gases around the place. We do have oxygen, but we've also got carbon dioxide and polluted oxygen everywhere. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll stick a gas pump over here and it'll help drag all the gases in here and then we can do some sorting and maybe even a little bit, just a little bit of deodorizing. Why not? A very, very simple plan. We're going to pump gas out of here. If it collects any oxygen, it will get sent down to the suits. If it's not oxygen, it will get dumped out here. And the majority of what'll get, what's going to get dumped out here will be polluted oxygen. So that will get filtered by this deodorizer and it will slowly circulate its way back around. I don't know if we help clean this area out. 
So we'll be turning all that fluid oxygen to clean oxygen for our suits. At the same time, we're going to end up with a bunch of carbon dioxide down here, so I'm probably going to have to start moving that about as well. But first, we probably want to clean this place up a little bit. I don't think anyone can get in here anymore, can they? No, without suits, I'm pretty sure everyone's everyone can't get down there. That's sort of what we want. We want to make sure once people are in suits, their only way out is back through more suits. Oh, more prezies. You know, the last few duplicants I've been offered have always been either triophobic, where they can't do digging, or they can't do building. But now I'm thinking, does that really matter anymore? Even if they can't do digging, there's no more digging to be done. Okay, there's a bit more digging in the in the biome. But you know what? I think we're going to take Nisbet here. Please welcome Grief Karga to the team. Uh, with their inability, inability to dig, that shouldn't be too much of an issue considering there's not really that much left to dig on the map. Though uh, we do need to start training them up. Oh my god, how is there still so much hydrogen up there? Hmm. I may to need to install another gas pump over here just to get rid of all of the hydrogen, though I don't know if that will destroy it from being a bedroom. If it does, I suppose we can all stick it in the corner. You know what, we will put in a gas pump and we'll see what it does. Yeah, don't put don't put gas pumps in your bedrooms. It stops it from being a bedroom anymore. Industrial machinery. Oh well. We'll uh, put a little gas pump in there in the corner and we'll use that to hopefully get rid of all the hydrogen that's collecting in there. They're not suffocating yet, but I'd prefer if they didn't. Wait, that, that came out wrong. I'd prefer if they didn't end up suffocating later on. Not I'd prefer if they didn't not suffocate. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, um are we okay, down here? That's still going to be going on for a while. Filtration medium-wise, we're going to run out of sand at some point, but we've got uh, access to... We'll, we'll soon have access to up here. Once we're finished with the magma biome, we'll go get ourselves some uh, an awful lot of regolith for filtration medium. So, time to break in down here. I'm thinking we'll put in a liquid lock just directly right beside this. We we're only going to need about three people to manage this, and I don't want everyone coming in here. And there we have our entrance. Well, the start of it. Dupes can come down in here. And once they're in this section, this is all vacuumed off. I'll leave that gas pump in there. I've always learned to leave the gas pump in just in case things go wrong. And now, now we can start breaking down. Though, what do we want to make this ladder out of? I'm thinking... Hmm. It doesn't really matter. All of these will melt if they touch magma. That's, uh... Not great. Hmm. You know what? We'll put one there. I'm going to want to probably insulate in the top here. We're going to put in some insulated tiles all along the top. Just... Yeah, all the way along there. In fact, we'll do that from the outside, just to make sure that when we're probably going to be scraping off this entire layer of abyssalite, and we're going to be digging. You know what? Let's skip forward just a tiny bit, and I'll show you what I mean. So with this layer insulated, we can sort of come in down below and start scraping this all away, but at the same time, we don't want to... We want to sort of dig down and dig out all of this uh, tungsten, this diamond, all of this stuff, and once that's all dug away, the magma will sort of keep dropping down lower and lower in levels. So hopefully we won't have more than, say, about three or four tiles high of magma. Preferably no more than three tiles high of magma. So long as we keep digging this out. Now, I saw this on a Reddit post someone did where they did the same thing. They just dug out the magma biome, but without actually scooping anything up, they just sort of dug down and started digging things out. And let's see what happens if we start doing the same thing. Say we uh, dig all of those and... Oh, yep, I'm going to have to start getting into the skill sections again, aren't I? Yeah, no one can dig those out, can they? Oh, damn it. So, what I'm thinking is... Wait, cancel all. I may need to get a little bit more morale on people before I start doing this. The reason being, on the skills, everyone's pretty close to their morale cap. Okay, someone had some nice food. Never mind, never mind. I think we're going to switch from meal lice to bristleberry, because at the same time, this uh, liquid vent has become active again. And... Yeah, unfortunately, this keeps pushing up and flooding this area, so I need something to spend the water on. I'm thinking we're going to switch to Bristle Blossoms. It'll give us a plus two morale boost, which means we can get a, a bunch more people into digging in exosuits. So we're probably going to do some minor modifications here. Yeah, this entire area here is going to be modified to be a Bristle Blossom ranch. That's the start of our Bristle Blossom farms. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to fix that ranch though, aren't I? Especially because we are running out of coal at a rate that is just way, way, way too fast. So, yeah, four blocks in there. Mm. Yeah, we're down to 13 tons of coal. We used to have 30, 30 tons of coal. So I think the massive refinement binge was what killed most of our coal supplies. Now that we've slowed down on that, we should be better off. Uh, the hydrogen is becoming a bit of a problem up here. Even with that gas pump working away, we still seem to be collecting way, way, way too much of it over there. I've put in some automation just to try and... S well, just to make sure that the, the gas pumps aren't active all the time to maybe cut down on uh, 
power consumption. That doesn't seem to be working too well either. I might have to move the beds to somewhere more hospitable. That might be a better idea. Say, throw them over here or... God, I really have made this place a mess, haven't I? Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. Yeah, that was too much effort. I figured the gas pump will eventually catch up. <laughs> I've uh, skill scrubbed Mando. After skill scrubbing Mando, I put them straight into super hard digging, which was their original intention anyway, which means they're going to need a new hat, aren't they? Well, super duper hard digging. I Apologies, I got that incorrect. And then they should be able to start digging down here and we can start hopefully freeing up a little bit of space. Can you get that? Perfect. How about those? Nice. Oh, I can't really put the ladder down much more. If we touch the magma, that will melt. The sedimentary rock only survives down at, was it, 926 degrees? It's 1700 in here. I'm surprised we haven't scalded anyone yet. I think we're going to have to sort of scooch. Yeah, we're going to have to scooch along sideways here. And we'll use that to dig out some more of this area. The, the plan here is to get down low enough that we can scoop out the bottom bit as well. And just, just dig everywhere dig the whole biome out left to right without actually touching the ground. We're just going to stay on the ladders and do all of our work from up here. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a little bit slow and tedious, unfortunately. But fortunately, we have time dilation. This shouldn't be that painful, actually. So far, Mando appears to be the most suicide-prone of the lot of them. Dear Lord, the amount of times they've gotten trapped and scalded is starting to become excessive. Uh, we'll, we'll get them into a hospital bed. They'll be, they'll be fine. Uh, time to continue this on dear lord but soon soon enough we'll have most of this dug out a minor setback uh, the minor setback was i replaced these tiles in here with insulated granite tiles and uh, because it was abyssalite down there and i thought you know what i'll just replace them uh that boiled a bunch of water into steam which yep that was unfortunate because of course the abyssalite bug mm, kicked in because this stuff was too hot uh, for some reason, it also caused press pressure damage and water leaked out the other side, and then we ended up with steam in here. Also, I have no idea how it happened, but dirt ended up in here. Oh, wait, now I know. The, it was polluted water that forced its way through. It immediately flashed the steam, and the dirt that was in it then solidified into... turned into dirt, at which point it landed in the magma, at which point it turned into glass. <laughs> Well, it's evacuation time. We need to evacuate here until we can get all the steam out. And we're going to have to pump the steam up here. There's not a lot that got in, so we're still going to end up dumping a bunch of heat into this area. But we've, we've got cooling. It's fine. The problem is this area is heating up to the point where, yep, our ladder segments are just starting to melt. So it's time to get people out of here and not let them back in. Yep, that that's... Bye-bye, ladder segment. Oh, there goes another ladder segment. And is there one more? Yep, there goes another ladder segment. <laughs> the gas pump over here will take it out slowly but surely. The more this spreads out, the less heat transfer we're going to get, but it will be a while before... Oh, damn. It's going to be a while before we can get back in there and finish off our plans. In the meantime, maybe I should uh, spread out the cooling loop? Yeah, I should spread out our cooling loop to spread cooling to the... Uh, to the surrounding areas. Some of the places are getting a bit toasty. That We can use that to kill time while this, uh, oh, that is just annoying. Because that also is adding more magma to this pool down here. Well, on the bright side, I suppose, there's more magma to work with later to dump into our uh, steam turbines. Anyway, let, let's, uh, let's jump forward a bit while we install some cooling loops around here to make sure our base never overheats. Done. Lots and lots of piping all the way around the map. I even stuck in a few pieces of gold radiant piping here and there. Now to hook it all up, we're going to break that there. Oh, no, nope. we're using granite piping mostly, just because it's got better thermal conductivity. And there we go. That should start flowing around, and then it should go all the way back around to the top and back into the tank. We'll just delete that there. We don't need that piece. And now we should be spreading chill all throughout our base. So that's what the base looks like now. Give that about, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 cycles, and that should all be an awful lot cooler. That looks an awful lot cooler to me. You, you might want to skip back a bit just to, to see exactly the, the changeover point, but all of this is now nice and green over here. Uh, the whole th whole base just is generally safe from now on. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, yes, I'm going to hire Stinky here. Reason being, they've got machinery and they've got building. That will cut down on the... I, I just need a lot of builders right now. Please welcome the armorer to the team. Uh, armorer can... I, I've stuck in a bed right here because... Yeah, that, that's the only space I have. What, we got seven tables? I'm going to probably have to expand this just a smidge to fit in another table at some point, but for the time being, I think we're fine. I could probably just move that door one tile to the left and 
Yeah, even though it's over a stairs, it doesn't make a difference. We can delete this one, delete the tile above it, and stick in one more chair. We'll fit in eight people here, even if we have to squeeze them in. Uh, over here, we're putting in some more bristle blossoms, and down here, we're still waiting for the last of the steam to go out. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's an annoyance. I tried to sort of enlarge this a little bit so we could maybe scoop out a little bit of steam faster. <laughs> it's, it's, you can actually just sit here and watch them come in and out as they drop off uh, the tiny bit of gold amalgam. Yep, and then they repair it, and someone else comes back in a few minutes later, and it just keeps on going. It's a waste of labor, but eventually we'll be able to go back in there again. For the time being, that is far too toasty. Eh, uh, let's see if we can't find some other side projects to take care of. Oh, first thing, fix our grooming station, and that's just too small. Yeah, there we go. That's better, that's back to grooming again. Why is that egg not being picked up? Ah, uh, I don't think I had that type of egg. Yeah. Sage hatch eggs need to be picked up. Uh, another question was, why didn't I run with trees to make ethanol and all that? Just, uh, at the moment, we don't really have the space. One thing I really should do, oh, do though, is uh, increase the research. We need to hammer out the last of the research. We might as well take care of that while we got the chance. Just uh, if we, ha once we have all the research done and we get a little bit of space materials, we can then redesign the base with absolute optimum efficiency in mind. For now, we're just trying to get by and not run out of anything essential. Coal-wise, we're actually starting to go back up again. Though, sandstone-wise, yeah, we're running out of the stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll sort all of that out as we go along. While I'm waiting for our steam problem to go away, I've, uh, I've queued up a bunch of disinfects. I've turned disinfect back on again. I turned it off for a while, but wow, there was just germs everywhere. Uh, that's what you get for sieving polluted water and putting it straight into your electrolyzers. But as well as that, this clean water over here is full of germs, so every time my scientist went and picked up water, they covered everything in germs around them. So now the science station is covered in germs again. Uh, not quite sure how I'm going to stop that. I'm going to get a few cases of food poisoning, but honestly, food poisoning is not even really a big issue. And the food poisoning germs over here will eventually die off, I suppose. I should probably... I'm not even going to bother introducing chlorine. Another thing we took care of was uh, I'm now storing all the slime and oxalite down here. We'll find a use for the oxalite at some point. Wow, there is going to be so much chlorination of everything going on around the place considering how bad the place is infected. Yeah, we'll put that back to like 10,000 germs just to stop them hitting everything every five seconds. Uh, how are we doing on this? Wow, we're down to half a gram of steam all the way across. Soon, soon, just another five or six cycles. We have hit another problem. Uh, since we're not using infinite liquid storage, uh, it's something I'm just not a fan of. It, it removes complications and problems when you have infinite liquid storage. Our problem here is we're going to end up with too much liquid now. Uh, what we could do is try walling this in, but I think we want to break into space. I mean, we've got the steel. We might as well start going into the space biome here and grabbing ourselves some of this lovely regolith that we can use for filtration medium. So I'm thinking we put in a few stations up here. We also use this as a use it as an overflow for polluted water so we can dump our polluted water into space without having to worry about it overflowing down here. Two birds, one stone, or one vacuum. I think similar to the downstairs one, we'll just do a, a quick lock in here. Everyone comes up through this side and then we'll have to... Mm, we're gonna have to do some bricking off here. Yeah, there, like that. You guys can't jump, can you? You can't jump two tiles? I think you can jump one, but you can't jump two. Yeah, we should be safe from those. I don't want any of those voles getting away. They're a great source of meat. How's our food looking? We have a lot of barbecue coming in. Uh, I slaughtered a whole bunch of critters over here. Well, first I wrangled them, then I slaughtered them so that they wouldn't eat each other. Well, they wouldn't eat the meat. Now, uh, up here, yeah, we're looking good. Once this is finished, we can wall it in that side and then we'll just bring everyone in through this location. Oh, oxygen, that was, that's the problem. To fill it with gas, we're going to use the same trick we've been using before. We're going to filter out everything that's not oxygen. Uh, you know what? Hmm. I think about it. Maybe we should do it a little differently. If we filter out everything that's not oxygen, we're going to be sucking down some hydrogen. It might be an idea to maybe siphon that hydrogen off into here. Let me do a quick rejig here. It'd just be nice to save some power on getting the hydrogen out of here. All right, we should be able to filter out the hydrogen using the the, the gas, the, the powerless gas filtration we brought up last time. And now that all gets siphoned down here. So... Yeah, okay, oxygen goes into the suits, hydrogen goes down to our hydrogen generator. It's saving us a little bit of power. How much coal do we have? Wow, I have too much junk open. Oh yeah, we've got 16 tons of coal. Oh, I really wish we'd got around to this sooner. I, I want to get this finished so we can start tapping into that magma for power. My plan won't really work until we've gotten rid of all the uh, 
the steam out of there, though. Right, never mind. Let's uh, let's finish this up. Let's start putting in suits here. I think we have three suits that we can throw in here, and we have three suits that we can throw in down there. Yeah, we've got a few to spare. Yeah, I think we got this. All right, over here, we're going to lose most of the gases in there, but eh, what can you do? Waste not what not. We'll pump out most of the gas, but not all of it. It would be way too much effort. Now, how are we going to tackle space? Uh, I think bunker tiles across the top are going to be the order of the day. Though, wait a minute. We can put in one bunker door. Say right about there. And putting in that bunker door there will open it with uh, some sort of mm, automation switch just when we want to go out and get even more regolith. We'll probably store our regolith up here as well, I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll make some regular storage area right here. That way, when our people want regular, they can go pick it up. Because if we store it in a vacuum, at least, it won't heat anywhere up. We we don't want the place getting toasted in regular, if at all possible. Uh, yeah, I think this will work. Just as long as we make sure no one else's, uh, no other storage areas are storing regular. Say hello to our first filtration medium that we got from space. That's, that's enough. That will do to us as well. You know what? I'll cancel that across there. We're going to need to extract as much of this as we possibly can, and rather quickly. We'll leave that bottom layer of abyssalite there just for now. And we're going to get to get all of the rest of that abyssalite, which is a good thing. We're going to need it down here for our uh, our water sieve. I think I best make that storage bin capable of storing some of it. Maybe reduce the size of it, though. Otherwise, we'll overheat the area. Say one ton at a time. Yeah, one ton of... Sand regolith should be grand. Uh, over here, we're going to get rid of that. We don't want regolith ending up inside our base. Regolith inside our base is just a little bit too warm. We can drain heat out of it later and do all sorts of things to use it to get power, but it's not really worth it at this stage. We we just want to get enough filtration medium so that we don't run out of uh, water or clean water. Now, there was some questions about this earlier. Can we dig up here? And we should be able to. Now, it's a bit dangerous. If meteor showers start while we're up here, it's probably not that great. But we can definitely go across and collect ourselves an awful lot of filtration medium. We're up to 22 tons of, of regolith already, which, yes, that is worth it, worth it, worth it, and worth it some more. With all of this in storage, plus all the... Oh, we're going to get little bits of gold amalgam and iron, though honestly, the amount of gold amalgam and iron you get is... It's kind of pathetically small. Still, still, we'll collect it all down here and we should... Uh, this, this should be quite beneficial for us. And now to maybe finish this off just a little bit... Oh. You know what? I forgot one thing. I forgot to wall that in. We want to make sure all that liquid just sort of disappears into space. Actually, we should plan ahead. I should definitely plan ahead. Yeah, I'm not doing this right, am I? I should also have a gas vent in here so that we can use this to vent waste gas if we ever need to. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we can we can do modifications later from this side. It's fine, especially since we've got this so set up set up so well. Yeah, yeah, but that water needs to go just pretty soon. We're running out of sp we're running out of storage space down here for our water, so we're going to want to get this out of here. Uh, the reason being, it also that water is going to flood my power generation, and if it floods my power generation, well, that would be crippling. Yes, I think crippling is the word I'm looking for. Oh my god! Yeah, that's bad. That that that's really bad. I need to hurry this. Up. That's 200 kilos of water. Come on. Uh, yeah, I might want to prioritize some things. Hold on here a second. All right, we are finally pumping all of that excess polluted water. What this should mean is we'll have all of these storage tanks, plus this entire pool of water, up to 900 kilos up here, which should give us more than enough to get us through the active and dormancy phase of this water vent, which means we should be able to run an awful lot of bristle blossoms, assuming we have the filtration medium, which we do, and we'll also be able to run all of the duplicates. So eight duplicates plus all eight bristle blossoms. In fact, we can do a few more if needs be. Now, one thing I thought of is, why not actually throw in some liquid reservoirs up here and fill them full of polluted water and then deconstruct them so that we start producing polluted oxygen up here, which we let vent off into space, but not before we put in some, say, oh, what should we call them? Deodorizers. Yeah, we're going to get some deodorizers up here to help add uh, help add clay to our menu. At the same time as adding clay, they'll uh, we can use the filtration medium we've got from harvesting all the regolith up here to actually feed into the the deodorizers. So it should be sort of a way to turn regolith into clay using our waste polluted water, which we can then cook to make ceramic, which we can use later on. Yeah, just thinking ahead. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a, a side trick. Uh, we dug all the way across the top, and now we can bunker into bunker tile in that side. Just uh, 
why not? We can protect this side of our base without ever having to break it open. It Well, for now. We will have to remove all of that and do things with it later, but for now we can protect that and make sure we're completely safe. We also have a switch right here. We can close those bunker doors whenever a shower comes in. We will be working manually for a while, but uh, yeah, we've got 119 tons of filtration medium now in Regolith. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Also, these deodorizers are going to have a field day. Hey, someone, would someone build that? I would be really happy if someone would build that, just so we can get more filtration going on. Actually, let's put another one right there. I think we'll just have only, we'll do it five tons of water at a time. It's going to be very manual and very slow and time consuming, but mm, why not? Right, this is the problem. I didn't notice that there was a meter shower inbound, and now everyone needs to get off the roof immediately. Uh, everyone, Everyone's in. The problem might be that they might be on this side and then they get in, this blocks their roof. They can't climb over that. They have to dig through it. And trying to dig through that while meteors are raining down on your head might be a little bit uncomfortable. Come on. Door is closing. Ouch. Ah, how? That took out... Yeah. That, that took out the rocks that were there. I might want to do some reinforcements. Ow, come on. Seriously? Like, it, it's like you're literally targeting this spot. How did... Well, on the bright side, we have more regolith. And thankfully, they didn't it didn't fall in here. If it had fallen in here, we might have ended up with the horrible problem of... Well, how can I describe it? All of this water flash boiling to steam, and then this whole liquid lock being broken, and then things would get progressively worse from there. Okay, let's uh, fix everything up, and uh, maybe not let that happen again. I think we'll wait until the, uh, the meteor shower stop for a bit before we go back out. Down here we've got our clay. We've got 1,670 kilos of the stuff already. And that's just from having this running a short period of time. Oh, we've just gained another 10 kilos. Oh, another 10 kilos. <laughs> this should allow us to generate an awful lot of clay, which we can then turn into ceramics. Not just yet. Actually, we could do it down here. No, I don't want to burn out the clay. We need to get this sorted, unfortunately. So I don't think we've, we have time. This, uh, this distraction up here was more while we were waiting for all the steam to go, which reminds me, is there anywhere else we want to wall in with some insulated tiles down here, just to prevent any uh, exchange of temperature at a later date? Oh yes, that's that's going extremely well with all of that water just boiling up. Uh, you guys want to actually build the insulated tiles or you're just going to keep stripping things out? Oh my god. Right, uh, let's just cancel everything and do this really slowly. I was hoping we could do this a little bit more industrially, but... Uh, Quickly, build those. Come on. You're, you're, you're driving up the temperature in here way too rapidly, guys. This abyss light bug is so annoying. Yeah, this is this is working out fine. This is uh, not a problem. Not a problem at all. <laughs> uh, remind me to do this before I flood the area next time. Oh my god. Come on, just just mop it up. My, my power generation needs to not be flooded. All right, that was very painful to get done. In the end, I started deleting liquid reservoirs, putting down tiles on top and then diagonally building in. I eventually got it done and we didn't put any more steam in here, fortunately, so we should be able to get around to that in the next eternity or so. Uh, well, we are going to have to sweep up all the stuff that's in there. At the same time, this is working out quite well on the clay front. we got about three tons that we can turn into ceramics, so that's going to stay there. And we have more than enough regular to last us for God knows how long. Uh, at the same time, the temperature down here did get a little toasty, but quick bit of uh, changing in the radiant pipes that we have on our cooling loop, and our entire base is looking, yeah, fine, not a bother. I mean, there's all our bristle blossoms going up there, and there is not an issue. So, to recap, with this water, we're producing enough water to provide us with all our oxygen needs, and enough to provide us with all our food needs, assuming we just stick with bristle blossoms to keep all, well, keep eight colonists alive when we ever get up to that number. Uh, at the same time, power is the only thing that's holding us back. Uh, we need to get power sorted, and this is where all of this magma is going to go. That's just a whole bunch of free energy that's going to tide us over for a long time. We just need that steam to dissipate a bit more. I think we could probably go back in here now, considering how minute the amount of steam is. But uh, I just wanted to make sure I replace the slime and oxalate storage container over here. We're going to need that oxalate at some point in the future, so why not? Um... Yeah, so I think we're sorted. We've got quite a bit done today. Didn't get around to the power, but the power we can sort tomorrow. Uh, oh, and yeah, just to comment again, the save game file is attached, so if you want to play around with the powerless gas filters or anything like that, help yourselves. And this is also the reason why I don't 
I don't use infinite water storage. This sort of, it forces you to manage things that you wouldn't normally have to do and interact with mechanics. It's, it feels like I'd be losing out on part of the game if I didn't at least bother uh, trying to store my water in a reasonable manner. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck.